What's up, YTPC? Big John back at it again. On vacation. Off of work. I figured I'd throw out a couple videos for you guys. I know I've been slacking in that department a little bit lately, but uh, I wanted to give you guys some content. See what we do. See what we going to do. Throw something out there. Housekeeping. Smoking on the tomahawk. You know it. Real pretty. A little bit of that uh, Seattle Pipe Club plum, pl plum pudding, plum pudding special reserve. If I can talk today. Almost done. I think I'm almost out. But this is a really exciting video for me because when I first uh, envisioned doing some uh, YouTube videos, the video that I always wanted to do you know I didn't want that to be my first video or my you know I wanted to get my legs a little bit but I always wanted to do my top five you know sitting back watching guys like you know Derek Tant and them you know when I first started kind of checking out YouTube and pipe smoking or whatnot those were always the funnest videos to watch and uh, to see what they were smoking and to see what the recommendations was so here I am Here's my own little twist on my uh, top five tobaccos of 2018. But uh, Big John's gonna put a little, put a little curveball in it. Gonna put a little curveball in it. A lot of people in the YTPC, they, uh, they drink a little whiskey, drink a little bourbon. So I'm gonna also give a pairing. I'm gonna give uh, some pairings that I've found on some blends of tobacco that I've dug into. All these blends I've, I've smoked extensively um, over the course. I've taken each one of them and just devoted you know, a week or two just to that particular blend, nothing else. So I could get the nuances, the flavors, check them out in different pipes and whatnot and uh, seen what worked for me. And these are ones that I keep going back to in my rotation. Now you might find a little bit of a trend as far as the Oriental Ford, uh, Latakia, uh, English blends, Balkan blends, but it is what it is. That's what Big John likes, so that's what I'm going to show you. Uh, the whiskey pairings aren't necessarily tied to each particular tobacco, which I kind of have, uh, um, they go well together, each one, and I've drank them and smoked at the same time. But um, definitely, it's kind of like a top five uh, whiskey, top five uh, whiskey, bourbon situation, and top five tobacco situation. So without further ado, in particular order, I'm going to go first to two honorable mentions. Two honorable mentions now. These honorable mentions have snuck back into uh, my rotation, and one is a brand new one that is so darn good, I just had to throw them in there because uh, I'm starting to get off into the Virginias a little bit. So the first one I'm going to say, honorable mention in the Big John's Top 5, is going to be the Sammy G Full Virginia Flake. Now to you experienced pipe mate, pipe smokers, you already know what time it is with the Sammy G. Delicious, good, outstanding. If anybody's new out there and wanting to get off into a Virginia, I know in the past I've uh, rated uh, McBaron's uh, Navy Flake very high. It's got a little bit of that Cavendish in it, so it, you know, it makes it a little bit easier for you know somebody to break off into the Virginias. But I'll say uh, any new pipe smoker that's looking for a Virginia, jump off into that Sammy G if you can get your hands on some, and uh, it'll take care of you. It doesn't have that sting to the nose that a lot of those Virginias and a newer pipe smoker. It seems to act well. It tastes nice and sweet. To me, it's got a sweetness, a richness taste to it. It's got that hay component. It's got some of those earthy components to it, but um, it's just a real delicious smoke, and it burns well. Uh, you rub it down, you know, using either like Oldberg's method or some other guys on here, 
the way they talk about rubbing down their flakes or some of the Z's if you could pack it right. But that's uh, one honorable mention. Uh, I'll definitely keep it moving here. Uh, next honorable mention that's making it to the list that's absolutely delicious. And um, to me, it's just as good as like your rich dark flake to me honestly is that mcbaron's hh dark fired got some jarred up right there real real pretty little broken flake or whatnot this dark fired when i first got it i got it in bulk and i got about an ounce of it and i did not like it i did not like the smell of it and it was probably just because i was too darn inexperienced to uh to to burn it right but alex stay at home piper sent me a pipe look back in a couple videos you'll see that little dragon briars pipe that i got that dragon briars pipe that i got works really well with that hh dark fire and that hh dark fire burns perfectly in that pipe sweet dark molasses taste same thing same notes that i get out of your um same notes that i get out of the rich dark flake you got that dark fire, the, that burly in the K Kentucky whatnot in there. Tastes delicious. So those are my two honorable mentions to uh, the tobacco side or whatnot. Um, as far as the HH Dark Flake and the Full Virginia Flake, I would probably pair them both with a nice, strong, uh, straight bourbon whiskey. Um, something to the effect of and rip to all those barrels that fell down the other day out of that house. Oof, that was a hard hit, and that was unfortunate to that company. It's 1792, that small batch. I recommend that with any dark fire uh, tobacco that you got. Is that rich, time honored Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, small batch. Anything with that taste dark molasses burly is going to go great with that, that particular type of uh, bourbon there. And it's going to be delicious. So, either of those honorable mentions I'll match up to 1792 with. Definitely something that I've kind of played with back and forth on uh, on uh, taste with the, between the tobacco and whatnot. So, to the top five, Big John's top five tobaccos of 2018. Like I said, I, I still haven't got the order, YTPC. I know I'm stalling, but I'm trying to sit here and think what we're going to do. So, number five. Number five, I'm going to say GLP's Quiet Nights. I know. Woo. I smoked me some Quiet Nights with that smoky Cyprian Latakia and them ripe red Virginias. I mean, it is beautiful. Some people say it stacks up to Penzance. I don't think it tastes like quite like Penzance to me. To me, they're two different animals. But the quiet nights is up there with it as far as my enjoyability on the smoke glp's quiet nights at number five so with the complexity of the quiet nights the sweetness of the red virginias or whatnot i'm gonna put i'm gonna put the adult apple juice next to that bad boy as far as whiskey for the glp's quiet nights i'm gonna match it up with a nice single malt scotch whiskey, a 12 year old, that Glen Farkless. That's a beautiful, beautiful bottle of whiskey right there. Single malt scotch. It's something that is obtainable. It's not that expensive. You can go out and get you a bottle of it. Now, I'm telling you right now, take it easy with this single malt scotch here because this is like adult apple juice. I know a lot of people say, well, don't uh, put it on ice. Don't do it. Well, Big John going to drink his whiskey anyway. Big John want to drink his whiskey. And I drink enough whiskey and buy enough whiskey that I can drink it any way I want. But I will tell you, if you throw this over the ice on the rocks, this is like adult apple juice. And it tastes so darn good, you will drink it fast. So, hey, listen, slow down. Be safe out there. The Glen Park class. So, so number four. Number four on the list, jumped in there on my bulk suggestions. I'm going to say that that's going to be the Lancer Slices, F and K, Lancer Slices. Real beautiful tobacco, real simple tobacco too. You got your Virginias and you got your lot of Kias. It doesn't have nothing else in it, I do believe. If I'm wrong, call me out. 
but it's just a real pretty smoky simple tasting tobacco comes in in bulk yeah, you can find it at some locations if you're looking for some right now I'll tell you what I'll even tell you where to go go to MarsCigars.com and you'll be able to pick up some of them F and K Lancer slices well, I might have just messed up my own little spot to get it but hey you ride with me I ride with you go over there to Mars and get you some and uh, they always they got a couple other things over there so check them out when you get a chance so that's my number four F and K Lancer slices beautiful beautiful tobacco whiskey to match with the Lancer slices something simple yet delicious I'm gonna go with the old Weller antique the original weeded bourbon a lot of people say that your Weller Antique is up there with your Pappy Van Winkle. Pappy Van Winkle, you can't get it. So if you can find it, and this is the old bottle, so don't look for this one. You have to look for the new bottle. But that old Weller Antique, that's a real, real pretty weeded bourbon. Nice and sweet. Nice and easy to drink. Comes in at about 107 proof. So it's not too bad, doesn't hit too hard. But also, lets you know that you're drinking a whiskey and it's not something that's just super light and dainty. Number three. A little bit of a hard to get one. You gotta search a little bit. It's, it's out there, you can get it. I hate to put it in my top five because it's something that you, you, know, you might have to go to a little pipe show or something to pick one up. Or next time Smokers Haven has something, jump on it, jump on it, is that in-between mixture. In-between mixture, at first, when I first smelt it, it's, you know, it's made by Jermaine's. So when I first smelt it, to me, I was, I thought I was duped. Because sometimes, some of those Jermaine's, they, sometimes they sound, smell the same straight off of the, you know, the tin opening. I thought, oh man, I just purchased more Margate. Or I just purchased more, you know, of the same thing. Uh, some more Balkan Sobrani, some more old and so to bed. Now right off the smell, you know, they kind of all have a similar hit to them. When you smoke them, you get into the different nuances. But that in-between mixture, it smokes right. And that tin I got had a little bit of age on it. Not too bad at all. Nice and smoky, nice and sweet. I've heard rumors that the in-between mixture is the tobacco that they use pre-pressed for Penzance. And uh, I tell you what, people say that Quiet Nights is close to Penzance. I think in-between mixture is closer. I think it tastes like Penzance, but it's just not calmed down. They haven't pressed it down and, and got that fight out of it yet. So it's, uh, it's the, the shag form of Penzance to me. So, kind of hard to find. I apologize for putting it in the list. But if you see it out there, grab it. Grab two. Send Big John one. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, ooh, number two. Number two, that's hard. That's hard. That's hard, YTPC. It, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. Before we get to the number two, I gotta I gotta pause because I still I still don't know which one to call for the number two and this video is getting long and I apologize. So for the in-between mixture, I'll put a little pairing on that. With the complexity of the in-between mixture and the nice the way it tastes in the traditional English, I'm gonna go with the nice and easy single malt twelve Macallan. Now, Macallan can be a little expensive. For the regular 12 bottle, you can get it for about 50 bucks, but every once in a while you can find these little small bottles like this. You can find them in your local grocery store or whatnot. So if you're wanting, I use these as just my, so I don't have to pull my big bottles out type of situation. Nice, easy to travel with or whatnot. But that Macallan, that's your tuxedo of single malt whiskeys. Uh, Highland single malt got a little bit of smoky to it not too much peat but it's uh it's a delicious whiskey that goes down nice and smooth like i said i throw everything over the rocks because that's just how i do 
Definitely, it's got some sweetness to it from those sherry oak casts, you know, out of war in Spain. So, with the in-between mixture, while I'm stalling on those other ones, see, see how people try to fool you. In-between mixture, Macallan 12. That's my pairing on that. All right, so number two. Number two is available when you can get your hands on it. Uh, it's the one that doesn't sell out of the Esoterica drops. So sometimes when everything else sells out, you can get to it, is the Margate. Best full English tobacco blend. It says a full English tobacco blend, but I consider it to be like more of a early afternoon type tobacco. If this was Dunhill, this would be the early morning pipe and your, your in-between mixture might be your afternoon, evening type deal. Your quiet nights might be your afternoon, evening type of deal. Margate is, is a nice, to me, is a lighter English blend. And I love it. I will say a little trick to Margate for the new people. When you get it, open it up, let it air out a little bit, jar it up, shake it up, get it mixed well, and then let it sit for a little bit. You know, get your little bowl or whatnot. The bowl that comes out when you first get it out is not necessarily going to be mixed properly. If you put this into a jar, you can see all the black tobacco, all that lot of key and everything else. It falls to the bottom. So, you give it a good shake, give it a good mix, and come back to it, and it's going to taste completely different than just pulling straight off the top, you know, of the tin. So that's a little tip on the Margate, definitely. I experienced pipe smokers, you guys probably already know that, but it's uh, you... It's a delicious, delicious tobacco. So keep it moving on the Margate. Definitely, I would match it, and I have been matching it with the Suntory Japanese whiskey, the Hibiki. A real, real pretty Japanese harmony. This isn't the, you know, the expensive one, you know, with the black label deal. This one won't beat you up too bad, but it's a real, real pretty, pretty whiskey paired with that Margate will get you going real right nice on real light floral notes citrus notes that's just perfect with that that, that margarita it's not going to overpower it at all whatsoever so my number one tobacco of 2018 and it's probably to no surprise but the reason why it's my number one is because it's a working man's workhorse and you can go out and get this sucker for under ten dollars a ten it's readily available and i don't think it's going anywhere so and it is one of my favorite smokers it is my Balkan Sassieni. It is my favorite smoker. It is a Balkan blend, you know, Oriental Ford, Latakia, you know, Balkan, beautiful, smoky, Cyprian Latakia. The price is right on it. The smell, the taste, and everything is delicious. And it's available. And it's not going to break your pocketbook. You can go and buy it in bulk in some places. I believe Cup of Joe's has it in bulk. And you can get it. You can get it. And it's not too bad at all. So, definitely. So, with my Balkan Sassy Emmy, I mix it up a little bit because it's got that campfire smokiness to it. And especially if you're going out, you're taking a nice walk, or you're going out to camp, or you're going to a barbecue or whatnot. I, I put a little a heavier bourbon on it and I put something with a little kick to it. But this one's not necessarily easy to get. It comes out every every so often, but it's the birthday edition, the old Forester birthday bourbon. I match that with my Balkan Sassiani a lot, and it's something that's just a real pretty Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, and it matches up nicely with that smokiness of that Balkan Sassiani. Real good taste, real good flavor, so. Well, I'm about at 19 minutes here, YTPC, and I'm glad that you stuck with me. I tried to pair a few, a few tobaccos and a few whiskeys together because that's uh, Big John loves the whiskey and the tobacco. So a little something different on your top five with two honorable mentions and uh, a little bit of a, uh, uh, something different with the whiskey pairing in there. Any of these whiskeys will go well with any of these tobaccos, but it's just something that kind of I've been messing with lately while I get my smoke and I'm off. 
I'll get a little whiskey. So, on vacation, YTPC. I'm going to be heading out tomorrow. We're going to go down to Florida, take the baby down to Disneyland. And we're going to uh, we're gonna get it going. So, uh, my next video, I'll probably be down in Florida. And I'll see you there. And everybody, until I see you again, especially if you're messing with that whiskey, don't hit that road. Give up them keys. And... Uh, Go find somebody out there in the YTPC that maybe ain't got a lot of subs or whatnot. Sub to them. Show some love in the YTPC. This is a great community, and this is something that I, I really enjoy uh, being a part of. And I've met some great people. I talk to them every day. Send them messages. They help me out. I help them out, you know, if I see something. So it's a, it's a great community, and let's keep this community together and stay tight. And uh, just let, let all the pettiness, you know, go to the side, you know, if there's anything that's being negative in the community or whatnot. So that's all I got to say about that. If anybody wants to talk to me about it, just hit me up, you know, on the, on, on the, on the DM. But uh, I love this community, so I want to see it thrive. So keep this YTPC going, and uh, let's act like men out there. All right now, peace.